I take it then you support the, uh, the freedom-loving attempts of the uh, peaceful marchers in Alabama and these places? You don't get freedom peacefully. Freedom is never uh, safeguarded peacefully. Anyone who is depriving you of freedom isn't deserving of, an, of a peaceful approach uh, by the ones who are being deprived of their freedom. And when black people in this country uh, uh, come out from under the mental straitjacket that the Negro clergymen have placed them in, and begin to see that the only way you can get freedom is to get it the same way the white man in this country got it from England, or uh, he says he got it from England. He was willing to pay the price for freedom. When, when you're willing to pay the price for freedom, then you'll get it. But the Negro in this country has never been willing to pay the price for his freedom. All of the price that we have been, that we have been paying in the past has been uh, freedom for the white man. We fought abroad so that the white man in America could be free today to sick police dogs on us, to beat our people in the heads with, with police clubs, and to turn water holes on, on little women and children and babies simply because they want to walk down the street like decent human beings. That's, now, the only way you can have peace is to eliminate those injustices, and the American white man is not going to eliminate them. He's going to talk that pretty talk, but he'll still continue to practice those inhuman deeds.